Get comfortable. The meditation is about to start. If you enjoy this meditation, don't forget to click the like button below or subscribe for more free content. Without controlling the breath, begin to notice and connect with your breath in whatever way works best for you. Perhaps you notice the feeling of the air on your nose passing by your nostrils as you breathe. You might even notice the coolness of the air as you inhale and the warmth of the air as you exhale. Or you might notice the rhythm of your breath today. Tune in to the feeling of your body rising and falling with each inhale and exhale. Or Perhaps you follow the path of the breath through the body and notice where the breath is stopping today. Notice whether your breath is collecting in your belly, gathering in your chest, or even stopping at the throat. If you perhaps notice the urge to change or control the breath, see if you can observe this urge without acting on it. Explore what this tension, what this experience feels like. And then for a few moments, I'll invite you to take control of your breath. Begin to draw the breath as deep into your belly as possible and hold it there for a few moments before slowly, steadily releasing every drop of air from the belly that you can. Keep breathing deeply into the belly or as close as possible as you can. The intention being to fill the belly with air like a balloon. Then really focus on your exhale, drawing out the exhale. Seeing if you can get your exhale to be even twice as long as your inhale. If it helps, you can even count. Breathing in for a count of four, holding the breath in the belly for a count of seven, and then exhaling for a count of eight.
Then release the breath and shift your attention from the breath to your body. Scan the body briefly to notice how you feel. Whether physical sensations arise or see if any emotional sensations arise. In particular, notice if you're experiencing any sensation that suggests you feel guilty or ashamed. If these are emotions you'd like to work with but aren't present in the moment, you may even recall a situation that has been making you feel guilty or ashamed. Taking time to explore and work with these emotions now. Notice what guilt and shame feel like in the body right now. These can be difficult emotions to sit with. You may even notice some wanting to escape or avoid them. An internal tension or pull to get away. It is so normal to want to escape or avoid guilt and shame. It is so human to feel overwhelmed by these particular feelings. But see if you can be with these feelings. See if you can stay with the feeling of them in the body. If instead of trying to escape them, you can choose to turn your mind toward these feelings. To observe them. To explore what it's like to allow them to be there and to experience them. To accept the reality of them being present for you right now. And to know that they can't hurt you as uncomfortable as they may be. See if you can just watch them. Well, as if you're standing back and observing the experiences of guilt and shame within the body. If you can, see if you can find some ease some peace, some ability to make a truce with these feelings. But if you have difficulty focusing on them, if you find that your mind keeps wandering, trying to get away, or that you're disconnecting from the experience in your body that it's too much, it's okay to see if your mind can just get close to the feelings. If you can soften around them. Relax your body around the sensations. Just as you might approach an angry dog or animal. With your hand out, slowly getting closer and closer until you both, you and these sensations, feel comfortable enough. Until you feel close enough.
As you observe these difficult feelings, know that you can always pull back your attention if you need, or ground by paying attention to the feeling of your feet on the floor. Continue to observe them, but know that you are in control of how close or how far you get from these emotions. And that it's so normal, so human, to step in and out of trying to be with them. Guilt and shame can be very powerful. Be gentle with yourself. See if you can ride the wave, these emotions, allowing them to build up and then flow out, noticing what it's like to experience them. Now let's explore what this guilt, what this shame might be trying to show or teach us. First, I'll ask you to actively cultivate an attitude of openness. To give yourself permission to explore the possibilities and trust your feelings. Open up some willingness for that. And remember, you can always pull back or ground when you need to. Set the intention to be with and learn from guilt and shame. Then come back to the sensations of guilt or shame in the body and place a hand where you feel the strongest sensation, the center of feeling for your guilt and shame right now. Observe the sensation itself. And take a few deep breaths into the center of shame or guilt. And imagine with each inhale, you draw in pure white cleansing light. And direct it to these feelings of guilt and shame. Imagine that white light wrapping around these difficult sensations. Showing love, kindness, and understanding to this feeling. Showing these feelings some compassion. Allowing some ease, some softening to hold the feelings tenderly. To heal and cleanse. And with each exhale, imagine releasing some of the negativity and tension that exists within this guilt and shame. Imagine those difficult feelings, their pain, their negativity collecting like black smoke 
With each exhale, it just leaves. It doesn't harm anything. It just evaporates away with the breath. Take a few moments to send this loving, warm, kind, compassionate white light to the sensation with each inhale and release some of its negativity with each exhale. Noticing what this does to your experience of these sensations. Riding the wave of the sensations as it comes. Feeling these feelings, staying with these feelings. Ask yourself the following questions and trust whatever comes up. Ask the sensation of guilt or shame, why do I feel guilty or ashamed? And listen to yourself, to the response that comes up the way you would a good friend. Listening rather than telling. If you feel you have a response, great. Put it aside and then ask yourself, why do I really feel guilty or ashamed? What's actually going on? What else? Ask yourself, did I let myself down? Or did I let someone else down in some way? Or both? Ask yourself, is there some other way I think I should feel or that I ideally wanted to be? Then ask yourself, is there some reason that I feel I don't deserve to be that way? Do I feel that I am not worthy of having my wants, needs, or dreams met for any reason? Sometimes the difference between guilt and gratitude is how much we see our own worth. If we doubt our worth, we feel guilty or ashamed. 
we believe in our worth, we can receive the gifts that come from the universe and stay open. We feel gratitude instead of guilt. What arises for you as you consider this? Then ask your feelings of guilt or shame. What do I need for myself right now? Is there anything I can do to directly address these feelings of guilt or shame? Ask yourself, is there anything I can do to remind myself that I am worthy, that I too deserve to receive, that I am human, imperfect but amazing and therefore inherently worthy? Perhaps even picture yourself as an infant when you were just a perfect little baby. Did that infant not deserve? Was that baby, is any baby ever unworthy? And consider the idea that that worth, that inherent deserving is still present and true for the simple reason that you were born. And finally, ask yourself if there's anything else you can do differently. Anything you haven't considered yet that you could do to let go of this guilt or shame. And trust whatever comes up. And I'll invite you to consider the following and notice what comes up for you as you do. Guilt often arises when we feel that we did something we should not have done. We worry about our behavior. We have some idea of how we think sh things should have gone. And we may blame ourselves if we think we've done something other than that. Whether it's because we don't feel worthy or deserving of the actions we did choose, because we don't feel worthy or deserving of the actions that others have gifted upon us, or for some other reason. If you do feel guilty for some other reason, ask yourself if there's something you can do to correct or make amends.
And if there's not some other reason, can you consider if there's a way to review the situation from a place of gratitude rather than guilt? Feeling thankful rather than undeserving. Shame often arises when we do not feel as though we have lived up to our ideal self, who we really believe we can be. Shame feels much more personal. We may tell ourselves that we are unworthy, undeserving people, that we are bad in some way. Notice if any of this negative self-talk is there for you. And know that these thoughts are not true. It's doubt. It's worry. It may be deep and it may feel powerful. But no one is inherently unworthy or bad. Take a moment to see if you've been treating yourself negatively, if you've been blaming or doubting yourself because of your shame. And if so, know that it is so human to feel off track to feel ashamed of our imperfections, to doubt ourselves. We all do it. Shame is such a part of the human experience. And so recognizing this, choose to take a few moments now to give yourself some compassion. To say silently to yourself words of love and kindness and understanding. And so as you repeat the following words to yourself silently, imagine compassion flowing through you. As if you are there to be your own friend. To be there for you through these difficult feelings. As you repeat the following. May I be happy. May I be healthy and safe. May I love and accept myself exactly as I am. May I find freedom from suffering. May I recognize my worthiness and step into my most powerful, ideal self. May I find the strength to be an example of acceptance and peace. May I be happy. May I be healthy and safe. May I love and accept myself exactly as I am. May I find freedom from my suffering. May I recognize my worthiness and may I step into my most powerful ideal self. May I be an example of acceptance and peace.
finish sending yourself some compassion by saying a few last kind, loving words of your own choosing to yourself. And finally, take a few moments to recall who you want to be. Allow yourself to remember, to come back to your ideal self and the image you have for that. Note how it feels to be that. what that ideal self feels like energetically, emotionally, in the body. Lastly, take a few moments to reflect and acknowledge what you learned in this meditation. What do you now know? Is there anything that came up that felt unique, even surprising? Continue to breathe and be with yourself in compassion and kindness as you hear the chime of the meditation bells. At the end of the third bell, I'll invite you to open your eyes and come back to the room.